Shabbat Shalom. Hmm. Then they won't see me. Okay. I'll oh, no, no, that's not true. No, no, I'll do this. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Drew, is it you? Now you're all set. Get in there. Should I speak in front of the microphone? Yeah, yeah. You'll need to speak right into the microphone, and that should catch your image as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're high tech here. This is, this is fancy. I don't want to say anything, but you mentioned it first. <laughs> all right, but you have to go right into the microphone for them to hear you. Yeah. Coming up now? Hello, good evening. My name is Marshall Kisner on behalf of Congregation Beth Chaim. It's an honor to welcome you to our Shabbat Under the Stars service this evening. Tonight we are li live streaming only, so please direct any friends on Zoom to turn on your YouTube channel. For those praying in person, we ask you to turn off your cell phones and be present with us. Thank you all for joining us to welcome in our day as the rest of the community. We're on our prayer cards, number five to start. Romemu Adonai Eloheinu Eshtachavu Lehar Kosho Romemu Adonai Eloheinu Eshtachavu Lehar Kosho Ki, ki, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Romemu I'm going to invite one of our founding members, Carol Tischler, to come and help us light the candles with her husband, Howard, and their two puppies. It's uh, in honor of Carol's birthday, but I'm so glad to be home. I was just spent three and a half weeks at our Reform Regional Camp in the Poconos, Harlem, with several of our campers and staff members, and I'll speak about it in a little bit. While I had an amazing time, I am glad to be back. All right, I've got a reading for you. Here we go. I think so. All right. It's okay. All right, if you'll pick 
one of the English readings, light the candles, and then you light say, the the candle, girl. Yeah. say the Hebrew if you're up. Come over here and hold her leash so she doesn't go. I think that would help. As these Shabbat, Shabbat candles give, give light to all who behold them, them. So, so may we, by our lives, lives give light to all who behold us. us. As, As we brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Amen. Happy and healthy birthday, and thank you both. Or, sorry, thank all four of you. And now we turn to Kiddush, the sanctification of this special day. Bit of a squeeze. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, bore peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kiddish ala b'mitzvotav, verat savanu, v'shabat kodsho, be'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu, zikaro lemaase v'reishit, ki hu yom techila, Lemikra e kodesh, zechel itziyat mitzrayim. Kivanu vacharta, veotanu kidashta mikol hamim. Bishabat kodshecha, beahava uvratzon hinchatanu. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. L'chaim. We're going to turn on our prayer cards to number six, but if you're following along in a prayer book at home, that's page 20 for L'cha Dodi, and uh, we're going to be trying live streaming our service from now on, and, and we may not always be projecting the liturgy, but we have prayer books for loans. So if anyone would like to borrow a prayer book so you can follow along when you're at home and maybe not enjoying the beautiful evening that we're having in the parking lot right now, we'd be happy to help you with that. Number 20, our page 20 in the prayer book, number six in your packet. Yalla la 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 la
to the setting sun as we greet the Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, all of our friends on YouTube. So glad you can be with us in spirit. Shabbat Shalom, come on down. And we'll continue with our call to worship the Barhu as we stay standing as we're able. Number eight on our prayer cards in our prayer books, page 28. Shokhmenu, Kumenu, 
נצליח בחוקיך, ונשמח בדברי תורתך, ומצוותיך לעולם ועד, כי הם חיינו, ואורך ימינו, ובהם נגה יומם ולילה, נגה יומם ולילה. Please rise for Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, you may be seated One You by Alden Solovey Love is a bridge to the moment of creation, the moment when God's heart could no longer be contained, when light exploded in a big bang, creating billions and billions of stars, millions and millions of galaxies, planets, moons, solar systems without number, and one, only one, you. Yes, you are the impossible, yet here you are, miracle of love. The impossible, yet here you are, miracle of life. The impossible, yet here you are, miracle of God's loving hand and outstretched arm, created in the same instant that holiness, mercy, beauty, 
goodness, righteousness, and grace began to expand throughout the universe. Prayer cards 44 in the prayer book. <laughs> Ben you vein bene Israel, ot hi le olam, ot hi le olam. Beshamru bene Israel et ha Shabbat, la sod et ha Shabbat le dorot hamberit olam. Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai et ha Shamayim et ha Shamayim. Shamru bene Israel et ha Shabbat la sot et ha Shabbat le dorot hamberit olam uvayom hashvi Shabbat vayinafash Shabbat vayinafash Shabbat vayinafash 
Shamru Vene Yisrael Et Hashabbat Lasso Et Hashabbat Ledoro Tamerit The Language of Your Soul by Alden Solovey. The language of your soul, that fountain of blessings inside you, pouring forth in a river of love from you to God and God to you, sustaining life and creation itself, always seeking to sing goodness and beauty and truth, can only be summoned from the secret chambers of your heart. We rise as one community as we're able for the Amidah, our standing prayer, which in the prayer book begins on page 46. Number 16. Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Vimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lea, Ha'el, Ha'gadol, Ha'gibor, Ve'hanora, El Elyon, Gomel, Chasarim, Tovim, Ve'konei Ha'kol, Ve'zocher, Chastei, Avot, Ve'imahot, Ume'vi, Geula, Livnei, Ve'neihem, Le'man, Shemo, Be'ava, Melech, Ozer, Umoshia, Umagin, Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Magin, Avraham, Ve'ezrat, Sara, Atagibor le olam madonai, mechaye ha kol atarav le oshia, morid ha ta, mechake chayim bechesed, mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim, somech noflim verofe cholim, umatir asurim, umikaye memunato, lishene afar, micha mocha bal givorot, Umidom elach, melech memit umechaye, umatsmiach yeshua, venemanat alachayot hakol. Baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakol. Atat kadosh, v'shimcha kadosh, kadoshim b'chol yom yahalalu chasela. Baruch ata Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. Please be seated. When I worked at Camp Harlem many moons ago as a staff member, we would recite the Grace After Meals Birkat Hamazon three times a day. That was the first time I'd ever heard this liturgy. It's much, much longer than the Motzi, which is only one line. It's uh, many paragraphs, and that's the short version that the Reform Movement does compared to the original liturgy. But in recent years, we've tried to infuse a little more meaning into the prayer after meals at Camp Harlem, as it often became an excuse for campers to bang on the tables, which is fun. But we also wanted to drive home what the point of the prayer was, which was to thank God for the sustenance, which we just enjoyed. And so this summer, we would sing the full Birkat Hamazon after dinner every night, and definitely on Shabbat, but most times at breakfast and lunch. Instead, we would utter one line in Hebrew, just six words, five words, and depending on how you count. And we'd also say what we are grateful for, which we at Beth Hayim know to be a beautiful tradition. And wouldn't you know it, campers could not wait to be called on to share their blessings, whether it was a friend that they had made, a nice thing that had happened to them, uh, a new experience that they had enjoyed. 
thanking God for their favorite counselor, whatever it was. And so we want to take a moment in that same spirit and offer up our own sources of gratitude. So really grateful that Carol decided that this was how she was going to spend her birthday, praying with us tonight. Other blessings we'd like to share with our Beth Chaim family. Cheryl. That Ryan Brown and I made it home safely from Camp Harlem, no harm done, a little taller or bigger in other ways, speaking personally, um, but definitely um, with a full heart. Carol. Engagement of Sam Parker, we're so excited. Other blessings. Yeah, Ellen. Mark's birthday was also this week. We'll pause to say thank you and then we'll come back together. So modim, anach, nulach, those three Hebrew words we need to say, we are thankful to you, the source of blessing. Modim, anach, modim, anach, Stanley, did you have your hand up? Mm. Granddaughter's bat mitzvah last week. Mazel tov. Other blessings. Keith. Today, Keith closed on a new home where he'll be closer to many of his friends at Stonebridge in Monroe. Mazel tov. Absolutely. Hillary. I can't believe Charlotte just turned six. Wow. Her niece. Happy, healthy. Mira. We could not have asked for a better Shabbat under the stars. And my niece, just Riley, just turned... Two. So now she's caught up to her cousin Ari. We know our friends on YouTube also have so much to be grateful for. Just know that we are celebrating with you. But we're going to turn now to Shalom Rav, our prayer for peace, number 19 on the prayer card, and in your prayer books, page 60. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Kasim Leolam Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Kasim Leolam Ki Ata Ru Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Ki Ata Ru Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Yitzum Benecha Yibarech Et Amcha Yisrael Lechol Eid Vechol Shabbat Shalom Take a few moments for silent prayer to offer up the prayers in our own hearts to sit and listen to the sounds of nature to be together. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thoughts now turn to all those in our lives in need of healing. Healing of the body, healing of the mind, healing of the heart, and healing of the soul. If you are keeping someone in your thoughts and prayers this Shabbat, I invite you to say those names now. To those names we add, Rhoda Schwartz, Arlene Grable, Teddy Malaski, Noah Hecker, Marvin and Ginny Ginnelman, Betty Abramowitz, Bob Gast, Chaim Ben Esther, Elaine Berkowitz, Barbara Gladstone, Rosalie Krieger, Piper Fitzpatrick, Jill Sava, Yisrael Binyamin, Lisa Schur, Louis Baskin, Erica Taylor, Sandra Schachter, the Weisberg and Evans family, Bernard Greenwald, Allison Schaffman Flood, Gail Malter, Avram Glazer, Iris Horowitz, Scott Horowitz, Nikki Van Rensburg, Sharon Fallitz, David Hudesman, Catherine Isnardi, Louis Jacobs, Bobby Schwartz, Lisa Garwood, Mary Dillahanty, Cherie Harden, Bernice Dvorkin, Stuart Patz, Stephen Patz, Meredith Bloomberg, Fran Stuckey, Richard Weiss, Kate Michelson, Lester Rakoff, Leslie Kramer, Jan Jane Rosenfeld, Stephen Finver, Marjorie Estrin, Stan Wernick, Nat Salako, Rachel Glatt, and Faye Josephson. For all those and many more, we need five little words in Hebrew. Hail na rifan They're not on your prayer cards, but if you are following along in your prayer book, they're on page set 373. Yeah. 
So after a long, hot week, and maybe your other campers got a little smelly because it was 90 plus with humidity, when you tried to climb the tower, but you just couldn't quite make it to the top, and they served all of your least favorite foods, like three meals in a row. It's Friday afternoon and everybody's getting ready for Shabbat. Everybody's taking time to clean up, dust off, find hopefully a white shirt that isn't stained or sweaty and gather together first as a unit with the other campers your age to sing a few songs to get in the spirit of Shabbat to reflect on the week that was and maybe set some new goals for the week that will be. And then you hold hands with the people standing next to you. And the circle of your unit then becomes an incredible chain, a human chain, as the first person starts walking uphill. And yes, every which way at Camp Harlem is uphill both ways. But this one's the big one, up to chapel on the hill the epicenter of Shabbat at camp. And each unit, one by one, a chain of humans coming up the hill, a sea of white shirts, lots of smiles, even sometimes covered by masks. While there's incredible music waiting at the top for the, for, for the people who reach it. And then everyone finds their seat. The youngest in bunk campers in the front rows kicking at the rocks building little rock towers, prayer cards somewhere. Oldest campers in the back, sometimes chatting because they love being together. But then all of a sudden in the middle of everyone's favorite prayer, a giant wave of motion as everyone does the same, the same choreography. Is that a drone? Stop it. Oh, I, I thought maybe someone was doing yard work. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, a drone. No, we have a parachuter, all of our friends on, on YouTube. Well, that was exciting. That we didn't have at Camp Harlem. But as I was saying, all of a sudden, burst of motion, everyone's doing the same exact choreography at this part in the song. Lyrics that many of us sing every week on Shabbat, but we just don't seem to have all the same moves. And then after a moving service, everyone goes to the Chadarocha, the dining hall, for dinner. Every week, fried chicken. What, can't be, what could be wrong with that? And finally, that last Shabbat, that fourth Shabbat of camp, after we had created so intentionally this COVID bubble to keep everyone as safe as possible, that last Shabbat, we didn't have to sit in two shifts for dinner. We could actually sit all together under the same roof for the first time all summer. And after the eating comes the singing and the big banging of the tables. We sang tunes from Fiddler on the Roof and Israeli favorites and songs that remind us of the power of Shabbat. And it never ceases to amaze me that the Camp Harlem community, almost every summer, one of their top highlights of the summer are services. Something we don't often hear from our students in religious school, but at camp there's something different. At camp there's something special. Is it that when you're on the chapel on the hill, you can see out over the Pocono Mountains? Is it that you get to see your friends that you only get to see three and a half or maybe seven weeks a year? Is it that the music calls them in a really powerful way when they see young people leading them in services? When they actually get up for their turn for their unit to lead services and share something that they wrote or that they painted or that they prepared? I had a really transformative experience this summer. I haven't been there for an entire session since I was on staff. And I got to see the arc of opening day, which was not like any other opening day at Camp Harlem, where I saw kids sprint out of their vehicles 
because they could finally get away from their parents for the first time in a year and a half. There were kids, I don't even know where they went, they were so fast. And the, the, or the mom who lived in New York City who said, thank God they have room to run here. Or the parents who were a little nervous about COVID but knew that this was the absolute best thing that could happen to their children. The campers who had never been before but had heard how great it was. And yes, there was a lot of masking. We had to wear disposable masks every day and they became part of the landscape because you know they'd get left behind here and there. But it felt safe. And you could forget that the pandemic was raging outside the bubble of camp. And you could climb the tower and you could go fishing in a very well stocked lake because no one had been fishing in it for two years. And you could go trekking through the weeds, which were a little overgrown, or hang out with the foxes who had taken over camp because no one had been there in so long. But make your arts and crafts, take incredible pictures. We had a totally original musical that incorporated all of camp and was outside and socially distant. It was incredible and make new friends and sometimes keep the old. But I saw how important camp was this summer, especially after you're not having it. I needed it. The campers needed it. The staff needed it. These young people who are taking care of our precious treasures and they missed each other and they missed their special place. One of my son's camper uh, counselors said, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to come back, but now that I'm here, I'm totally signing up for next year, too. There's something magical about camp. And so, yes, I will miss it, but it'll, God willing, be there again next summer. And we, I don't believe we have any campers there right now, but we had, uh, I think it was five campers there first session, not including my littles, who decided it was their camp. They owned it, the place. But one of, some of the comments I heard from our, our congregant campers, so glad to be away from my parents. No, it wasn't even yours. Somebody else who was just like looking so serene on the bunk porch. And I was like, how's it going? I'm not at home. It was amazing. Um, or, you know, one of ours who was in the camp play and so got to get up in front of camp and do what they love best. Um, uh, yours was very teenagery. But you know what? I saw him, then I would, like, I'd see him be, like, a little, you know, solemn in the corner for, during a program and then let free swim having the time of his life. So I know he had a good time. Um, and I hope that all of those campers say it's time to come back again next year and see my friends again and put on those white shirts to say Shabbat Shalom in a special place with special people and special traditions. We're going to turn now to a prayer for the state of Israel, number 20 on your prayer cards, and I'll have Marsha Turek come on up and lead that for us. And if you're in your prayer book, we're turning to page 259. Oh, Heavenly One, protect. Sorry. Oh, Heavenly One protector and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace, send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Continue with Alenu. Let us praise the ever loving God. Number 21 in our prayer cards. Please rise in our prayer books, page 282. <laughs> Ushkinatu zo begav hei meromim, hu Eloheinu eenod. 
ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא ונאמר והיה אדוני למלך הכל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו ושמו Please be seated. We turn to Mourner's Kaddish, page 294 in our prayer books, number 22 in our prayer card. And as I recite the following names of loved ones, I ask you to rise if your loved one's name is recited. We'll start with those whose loved ones are in the period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning. Remember Eileen Applebaum, aunt of Karen Brodsky, and Arlene Mulry pearl mother of Michael and Hillary. And remember the following yard sites, the anniversary of the passing of these loved ones. Elaine Sternlicht, Dr. Stanley Altman, Esther Molly Liebhaber, Charles Lean, Sylvia Berger, Anita Axelrod, Amy Kanner, Abraham Holtzman, Dorothy Spar, Tibor Klein, Ruth Jacobs, Michael Brodsky, Bertram Rosen, Morris Beyer, Leah Knapp, Nathaniel Newmark, Michael Cambon, Richard Elkinen, Ellen Perkis, Lewis Perkis, Diane Walter, Seymour Wexler, Celia Diamond, Murray Silverstein, Robert Singer, Sidney Stoller, Henry Thune, Ed Wendroff, Sam Bagel, Linda Dalnick, Harry Lesney, Susan Millman, Dr. Donald Rizzo, Charles Nevaleff, Sam Winter, and Sidney Eisenberg. And we rise together as we're able to support all of the mourners here and all of us who remember those who've gone before. We recite together. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba. B'yalma divra chirite v'yamlich malchute. B'chayechon uv'yomechon u'chaye d'chol b'yit Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'yimru amen. Yehei Shme Rabba Mivarach Le Alam Ul Alme Almaya Yip Barach Vyish Tabach Vyit Paar Vyit Romam Vyit Nase Vyit Hadar Vyit Ale Vyit Halal Shimed Kudisha Brihu Le Ela Min Ko Birchata Vishirata Tushbechata Venechemata Ta Amiram Biyama Vimru Amen Yehei Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya Bechayim alenu veal kol Yisrael, dimru amen. Ose shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom alenu veal kol Yisrael, dimru amen. Zichornam libracha, may their memory always be a blessing. Please be seated. Not yet, almost. There is a forbidden word at Camp Harlem. Many of our URJ camps, in fact, and that's the word announcements. Anyone caught saying that word in front of a group or on a microphone is at risk of being thrown into the pool or getting a pie in the face or having to skip around the room or any number of silly things that could happen. Um, only once did I hear the word uttered, but the campers were so engrossed in something else they didn't even notice enough to throw said counselor in the pool. But now we have a few messages, a few pieces of information, a few tidbits from Marshall. I feel so popular now after that learning about the announcements me at camp. <laughs> Hi, Marshall again. On behalf of the board of directors of uh, Congregation Beth Chaim, thank you again for joining us this evening for our Shabbat service. Our weekly Shabbat Torah study uh, meets tomorrow at 8.45 a.m. The board of directors will meet on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Also, the choir is now rehearsing each Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. On Wednesday, 
join us for a musical tour of the Jewish world in person at 11 a.m. Book group will meet in person on Thursday morning at 11 a.m. to discuss Visible City by Tova Mirvis. That evening at 8 p.m., the Reimagining Dues Task Force and Interfaith Committee will meet via Zoom. Join us next Friday at 5.30 p.m. for a play and pray Tat Shabbat on the playground, then at 7.30 in the sanctuary for Shabbat services. Please remember to complete your membership renewal form and make payment arrangements prior to August 1st to get high holy day tickets. You can make your sustaining membership pledge on that form. And remember, every new dollar you give will be matched by a challenge grant. Contact the office if you have any questions or need assistance. Thank you for being a valued member of our community and Shabbat Shalom. All right, we'll close out our evening together with an with a prayer for peace, Ose Shalom. You can look at the bottom of Mourner's Kaddish if that is helpful. Oh. It's also, it's one of those unnumbered ones underneath number 19. And if you're in your prayer book, you can also look at the bottom of Mourner's Kaddish on page 294. I was going to close with announcements, announcements, announcements. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to sing the song for you later if you're, if you're interested. Oh, say shalom, shalom, bim ramav. Who ya say shalom aleinu? Be'al ko Yisrael. Shalom, Aleinu Be'al Kol Yisrael, Amen. O se shalom, shalom b'mramav, Hu yase shalom Aleinu Be'al Kol Yisrael, Be'imru, Amen. Hu yase One whom creates harmony on high, bring peace to us, the same peace that we experience right now in this moment, this beautiful moment together outside or through the screen. And may we always know this sense of peace and serenity. <laughs> May God bless us and protect us. Yaer Adonai Pana Velecha Vichuneka. May God's light shine upon us and may God be gracious to us. Yisa Adonai Pana Velecha Vyasem Lecha Shalom. May we always feel that God's presence is near and may we be blessed with the greatest gift of all, the gift of peace. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>